Fascinating. 125 million years. Let's just look a little bit into the future, Tim McGill, and talk about the next couple of days. Looking good. Yeah, I can look maybe four or five days out yeah. with some accuracy. I don't know about millions of years, but yeah, we had a nice day today, Chris, and we're going to have some beautiful fall weather, it looks like, for the next several days. We're going to have some smoke, though, in the air once again in our skies, probably tomorrow through the day on Tuesday, so some more milky skies for us over the next couple of days, but it's high enough aloft that it's not going to create any health hazards here at the surface. That's the good news for us. Chances of rain slim to none over the next few days. We've had seven days in a row. This is the seventh day where we've had no rain. It looks like it'll be rain free most of next week. There's a slight chance for some showers late Thursday, a better chance towards next weekend and above average all next week. It looks like high temperatures normally top out in the low 70s. That's about where we were today, but we're going to be warmer than that. Looks like for the next several days. 73 was the high day at O'Hare. 73 at Midway is a little bit cooler in Waukegan. 67, 72 in Aurora after starting off in the 30s in this morning and now temperatures have dropped in the 60s, 50s and even a few 40s out there. 53 degrees in Aurora. 62 degrees at O'Hare, 63 degrees in Midway. The cool spot, Gary checking in at 47 degrees. These temperatures anywhere from around 5 to 17 degrees warm in the case of Waukegan compared to this time yesterday. So the winds are out of the east southeast, kind of light, and those winds will be shifting a little bit over the next couple of days as we get on the backside of high pressure more and more to the south. So that's why we're going to warm things up. Just a few patches of some high mid level clouds drifting on through, but high pressure sitting over us. The air pretty much sinking and drying out, so it'll keep us nice and clear, it looks like, for the most part tonight. There's a little front weakening here towards the Twin Cities up through northern Wisconsin. That's going to steer to the north, so we're not going to get any rain out of that. Keeping an eye on Tropical Storm Beta now, well, maximum sustained winds are around 60 miles per hour, slowly moving towards the west. It'll make landfall somewhere between Houston and Corpus Christi tomorrow. It's weakened a little bit. At least it's become a little bit more disorganized, and it is tapping in a lot of moisture that normally would feed northward in fuel systems that come through here, so that's one of the reasons why I think we're going to be dry over the next couple of days. Real-time satellite radar tracker keeps us dry tonight, mainly clear. Lots of sunshine to start things off tomorrow as we go through the afternoon. Afternoon. We'll see plenty of sunshine, just a few scattered clouds, and again, a little bit of smoke to kind of dim that sun a bit. Tonight's lows are going to get down to the 40s in the outlying areas, 43 degrees in Aurora, but the 50s in, in and around the city, 52 at O'Hare, 52 degrees at Midway, and tomorrow's high temperature is a little bit warmer, mid to even a few upper 70s around here during the day on Monday. So here's the wind forecast. Southeast, they pick up a little bit later on tonight and during the day tomorrow. Then they shift more and more to the south and eventually the southwest. So it's that combination of sunshine, southwesterly breezes the next few days is going to fuel the warm up around here. Your forecast for tonight, mainly clear down to around 52 degrees, but some 40s in some of the outlying areas with that light south southeast breeze. Tomorrow, a little bit breezier, 75 degrees for the high force, partly the mostly sunny skies for us tomorrow. And again, that milky appearance in the sun with that wildfire from the wildfire smoke from the storms out west. 75 tomorrow, 78 on Tuesday, near 80 degrees on Wednesday, a little cooler on Thursday, but notice the sun symbol, sun symbols and lack of rainfall symbols and low 80s for highs on Saturday. Finally, some showers around here. Looks like Sunday, Chris, and that's when we drop back down into the 60s. Pretty terrific. Tim, thanks very much.